So according to Google Maps, I'm standing in the middle of a small pond right now. So I came out here. I was going to camp at this pond because it's a water source. And man, this is thick, thick. This isn't thick right here. And getting here, I was 20 feet away from the pond on the map. But I mean, it took forever to go 20 feet. But now I'm in the middle of the pond. And Google Maps is wrong. There's no pond here. No pond here at all. It's not even a dried up pond. So I'm going to head back and go farther out, farther out into the wilderness. Find a camping spot. I have to replenish some water because I'm just about out of water. Yeah, there's no trail out here. Just following the sun. The sun will take me back to the Forest Service Road. reduced to crawling now it's so thick faster to crawl in a straight line and try to wander the woods all day trying to find a way out of here yeah there's there's no getting through this without crawling so that's what I'm doing service road right there that light spot that's the edge of the forest service road not far away just got to crawl through all this to get to it welcome to survival theory this is kind of a part two to my other camping trip um, this morning I hiked out got back to my truck started immediately charging up uh, my flashlight and most importantly my camera batteries and then drove many miles to another forest road and I've been hiking on that road that opening was me trying to get to a small pond that was on the map yeah there was no small pond and that was I dropped my pack on the side and headed out into the woods to go to it and uh, it wasn't there it's a good thing I didn't have my pack so I'm about in the area now <clears throat> where I want to camp so I'm going to drop my pack and kind of have a look around find a camping spot not the perfect spot just a decent spot since there's no lake or creek around here I had to fill up with water before I came out here because I was out of water when I left the previous camp. Um, I was hoping that pond had water, but because it didn't, I had to hike back to the truck and load up with some water. That's just the way it goes, although I see a puddle right up there. It's been raining a lot recently, but you never know when you're going to find a puddle or a creek. So I brought water. So I've walked around a little bit and then every area I look at looks about the same. But this one is a little bit more clear. So I'm gonna grab this spot. 
It's also kind of a spot right there, about 20 feet away, about the same. And I'm not very far off the uh, Forest Service Road, maybe 50 yards, no less than that, probably 25 yards. I can see it right through there. It kind of dead ends right there. Um, good on the widow makers. Lots and lots. I mean, the pine needles here are super thick. So I'll be able to scoop those up for the fire area and put them under the uh, mattress to, um, for insulation and also um, to protect it from puncturing or anything. So I moved my backpack and was getting ready to clear the ground right here. This is where I'm going to sleep. And there were a couple of those hornets around my backpack. The kind that build the big nest underground. So I just stopped and stared at the area for about 10 minutes. Making sure there was no nest that I could see. It's worth investing the time if you think there might be one of those nests. You know, trying to locate it. Because getting stung 20 times out here would not be a good idea. So camp is set up, got the pack hanging, and while I was hanging it, I noticed all this resin, pine resin here. So I got quite a few little crystals there. Maybe I'll melt them down tonight, or either way, I'm going to keep them. Good accelerant. Scavenge what you can. It's basically a Adirondack style tarp set up. Got all the pine needles for cushioning, the pad underneath, military sleep system, fire area, got my little seat there. All I'm missing is a fire. Let's get busy.
that's good fat wood. Got one. Here's the hard part. Come on, that wood. Well, for dinner, I have two choices. Mountain House Simple Sensations <clears throat> and the Nutrient Survival Southwestern Medley. And you know which one I'm choosing. Nutrient Survival. See, this has 560 calories and vitamins and minerals, too many to name. Let me do a plug here real quick. I've been promoting nutrient survival longer than most people have even heard of it, including some of the bigger channels. Um, and there's a link down below where you get like uh, so much off on your order. And they now sell the single servings also, and it helps my channel. 
But like I said, I've been promoting this a long time. Honey roasted almonds as an appetizer. These are pretty old. Wonder if they're still good. Yeah, I guess so. Turn off that camp light. Now we're camping. Nutrient survival wins. Remember, help me out and buy some through my channel. Don't buy it through other people's channel, man. They're just copying me. They saw what I was doing and wanted a part of it. Hmm. It's awesome stuff. I'm going to go over here and chill out and eat it. Bone appetite. So I've got on my sleeping clothes. Just threw a bunch of logs on the fire. Ready for bed. But first, I got to make that leg pillow. Man, that was, that made for a good sleep. Well, I wish I had some brandy, but I don't. So that's it for tonight. See y'all in the morning. Another beautiful morning. Oh, I love the sound of traffic in the morning. Mm -mm. Earlier I heard mostly birds, <clears throat> now I hear mostly traffic. Must be time to go to work. Same stuff I used yesterday, and I'm even using the same hole. I'm not making a new one. So I have to drill a little bit longer to get some friction on that already burned area. Once it burns, it gets pretty smooth. But it should be getting warm now. Takes a long time with this white pine. 
for yellow pine with not very much sap. I usually don't like to use pine, but I thought I'd try it out. This yellow pine is so sappy. And I'm actually getting tired. We got an ember, small ember. I actually have more dust than I did last time. Didn't have very much last time at all. Well, it's going to be another beautiful day, probably in the 70s today, typical winter for Texas. Boy, it sure feels cold at night, though. It's so humid. But beautiful day, beautiful day. I'm probably going to come out here and shoot some scenario videos because this is the landscape I have in mind for some of them. I've been looking for a place like this. So it's a short distance back to my truck, very short, as you can tell by the traffic. Well, thanks for watching Survival Theory. Please share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.